Um, what kind of questions did you want to ask me? Um, yes, well, I just want to know, what did it feel like to be there? Well, I didn't really have feelings at the scene. I want to know, how did you feel about this situation? I felt death. Just death. Everything's death. Fire during this situation. There's only one feeling I get, and that's to be hungry. Um, were you terrified? Oh, well, <laughs> well, I've only been scared once in my life, and that's when my dog, like, <laughs> drank my wine, and I thought it was gonna, like, pass out, but it didn't. I'm scared. <laughs> You terrified? I don't get terrified. I'm from the devil. Well, um, what was some of the things that had been said to you by the robber? Okay. Well, I'll start from the. He came like charging into me. Like I thought he was full on charging at me, but it wasn't to me. It was to everyone that was in there. And he was just like everyone on the ground now. And I thought, wow. This is a brothel, and like I don't, I didn't know. So I got on the ground because you know I'm not a prostitute or anything. But I just had a little fun, especially in a bank. Anyway, anyway, like he pulls out this little pity gun, and he was just like, "I'll shoot you if you don't get on the ground." And there's this tabulado standing near the door, about to walk out. And then he was like, get back over there, fatty. You ain't leaving. And she was just fretting for a cheeseburger. It was just so... I felt for her. I felt for her. It was terrible. Yeah. I said, it's time to die. And I said, it's time to die every day. I have to say to you. He said, you know, get on the ground. And I was like... If I get down, I'm not getting back up because I won't be able to. And then, and then he said, "I'll make sure you never have a cheeseburger again." And then I got down on the ground. I wasn't risking that. And then um, he was like talking about cookies, and then I was like, "Oh my god, I need a cookie so bad." So I just went to the shops when I got out straight away, and I got this big batch of cookies, and I'm never like ever not eating a cookie for another day in my life. And like, I just did not know why they were on the ground. It seemed funny at first, but because all these like, you just see all these people just go, pachoo, pachoo, shooting at the ground like cannonball. And then like, then I realized, well, I got this shit on my head, like, but it's not even a mask. I was at a party. I was at a Halloween party. I just woke up in a dumpster. And then I went to the bank to get some money for my new apartment. And then, like, and then they just all of a sudden went, push you, push you, push you, shooting out the ground like big freaking meteors or something. And then, so I just, I just went with it. And then I pulled out these freaking guns and I just um, pulled out my big gun, you know. But uh, also, oh, uh, yeah, the big gun. And then I'm just like, bang, bang, motherfuckers. <laughs> like, seriously, what idiots. I'm not even a robber. Now I'm trying to, like, rob a bank. And I have this knife. And, like, I was gonna stab someone. It was just so much fun. And then there's just a fat tub of lard, like, sitting there, like, shaking his boots because he wanted, like, a cheeseburger or some shit. But I was just like, what a fat piece of shit. I was like, you don't need any more cheeseburgers. I mean, look at you. Look at you. You're a fat piece of shit. Like I said. Like, um, oh, he was just disgraceful looking. I was terrified more than the people on the ground.
I can't explain myself. It was just so scary. <gasps> oh, no more, I'm sorry. I can't. I just can't. Oh.